Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry Primal. Alright, cool. Back in. Alright. Um, so, I've been snowed in all week. You'd think I would have used that to record some more stuff. You would be wrong. I've done very little productive. Not like having a YouTube channel is quite productive, but... Alright, let's see if I can have my arrows back. I have to crawl around him. To siphon all of my arrows off of him. Ooh, da, masham. Masashman. Masashman. Oh, of course, it means Udam mashes man. I was having a conversation with my wife a couple days ago. She really likes seals. They're her favorite animal. Um, but the interesting thing is that seals are born on land. And then they nurse. Because, like, you know, they're mammals. And only then, after they're, like, they've been alive for, like, ten days or so... Do they get in water? But they're aquatic mammals, so they're actually made to swim. This is... All right, cool. That works, at least. Hey, it's like nothing happened. Anyway, so yeah, so one of the things about, like, about them is that they're made to swim, but they're born on land. So when they first see water, they're afraid of it. You know, they're like, I don't want to get in there and it's dangerous you know it's not what I'm made for but they're actually incorrect they just don't know and so when they actually get in waters they turn into this apex super predator who's like graceful and like swift deadly you know can eat thousands and thousands of fish Really, guys? Anyway, yeah, so like... And on land, seals are... They look like fat, overstuffed, like, suitcases. Like, duffel bags. They're one of, the, like, the dumbest-looking animals. Like, they're so pleasant and fat and squishy. And that's how this game... And I was thinking about it because that's how this game makes me feel, you know? Because, like, people are so used to, like, living indoors and shit. You know, I'll let you guys work it out yourselves. That they forgot that this is what uh, humanity actually evolved for. And, like, doing these things, even though it's in a video game, which is kind of pathetic, but doing these things at all makes me feel, well, primal. I believe I've mentioned this in the past, but I also do want to mention, if not for the first time, then again. Oh, man. 
that I do like that this is Far Cry Primal and not Primitive. It's a little more nuanced than you would get for the typical, like, 10 million BC depiction of people. Of course, I think the actors help, uh, help that out a lot. I think having Elias Dufexis will instantly grant uh, credence to something, you know? All right. I'm something of a believer that this game can be ASMR. Of course, I'm known for finding ASMR in, art, in odd things like that. This is, I mean, this is kind of a spoiler, but. I actually recorded an ASMR of me building a uh, Gundam. Like a Gunpla. Got big, big wolves. All right. I thought I was on a side quest, but apparently this is the main quest. Come on, just let me get set up with a good stinger. Sorry, Poochie. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, remember that time a few episodes ago when I, like, shot someone through the head with, uh, two people through the head with one shot of the double bow? And then I realized how pathetic that sounds. Remember this time that I did this cool thing? Do you remember it? You remember it, right, guys? You know, in case someone is still watching. Alright. I guess I found the plot. Had a little bit of uh, worrying about that. So I have the audio turned down for the game a little bit. But for those confused, yes, he is surprisingly soft-spoken. Despite the fact he's wearing several animals. Eh, he actually could just be wearing all the pieces of one animal. But yeah, he's wearing a bear skin. Oh boy. <sighs> I complained about the no gear level on Far Cry 3. Didn't think it'd be happening this quick.
All right. I have no tail. And I must swing. Perfect. Man. I, I hate levels like this in which you don't have a punch. This is something I always like about Doom, you know? Even when Doom Guy is stripped down to nothing, he still always has that, that trusty service pistol. Oh, wow. I was only missing them for 30 seconds. I took all my clubs, though. And they took my... God damn it. I'm getting snow blind out here. So is that a line that's just in there irrespective of what point in the upgrades you are? Or... Did they take my warm, comfy clothes? Risk an arrow. Interesting. All right. Now, I'm sure we'll just have a peaceful, gentle time. And I can go on my way without trouble. Nope. There you go. Gotta kill a guy to get a club, huh? Okay, well here's hope I can face stab the guy. Oh, turn around. Alright, cool. Now I should be getting a... Perfect. Oh, really, man? Jeez, at this point. Just poke him. Why not? Why bother? Deignite. All right. Problem solved. I imagine I'm going to need the items necessary to make a club so I can bash my way through. Unless that's not even the case. Oop. Oh, 
Cool. On our way then. That was uh, not really what I would have expected. And also, yeah, there doesn't appear to be like a bar of like, you're freezing to death, hurry on, on screen. Oh, you're alive. We're alive. Damn it. Does it say... No, I was hoping I would be able to save. Well, if I hit load... Only 36% done? It's like a third of the game. Which means that there might be like 30 episodes of this, yay? Oh boy. Hmm? not meaning to do that. Go, go, go. That was awesome. Clean, you know? Then we just gotta hopefully perfect. Winja. Maybe your club. Can't make a club. Gotta earn back my club rights, I guess. Is that a pit to infinity down there? Didn't know they had those back in the olden days. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but Misha Collins of Supernatural. Um, I found out today he has a cooking show with his son. The Hey, what now? Anyway, he has a cooking show with his son, who is uh, a child baby. And is about as dumb as you would expect. Shall we say very... See if we get that old classic problem with Far Cry boss fights. Because Far Cry boss fights are always either stupid or really easy. Because as we saw with um, the three big enemies in Far Cry 3, you go into a big, silly, like, super mode cutscene. Where you kill them all and it's like nothing. Go down. Yeah, you too, I guess. They didn't notice me until I started running. I wonder why. Is, is that guy getting assassinated part of the ritual? Were they doing a ritual? Sorry guys, did I interrupt your ritual? Ah! 
Oh shit, huh? Oh, those aren't the real vines, those are fake vines. Guess we're going this way. Uh oh. Well, there's the pit. I wonder what happens if you don't kill the cave guardian. Let's just find out, shall we? A lot of guys. Mm hmm I can see lots of people. There goes one. Hey, yep. Okay, everything is as it was. Pretty typical. Is he following me? He is. Ah, oh, I see. Well, as I'm the only guy to have discovered... Oh boy. Grappling. They actually can't do very much to me currently. Okay. Yep, stepped in the fire. Alright, now we leave. Whoops. Gotta turn around there. All right, fine. If you guys want to die so bad, who am I to stand in your way? Eat the pork. My wife made a beautiful steak the other night. I've mentioned steak quite a few times. It's because we keep having it for whatever reason. <laughs> Suckers. But it was recently Valentine's Day as I record this. Naturally, because this is coming out after February, you would know that Valentine's Day has happened. Uncaged. Nice. This is going to be a... Oh, cool, I still got it. Turn that up there. Let's go there next, I think. Hey, cool, we've unlocked the antidote. This is just a monkey man. <laughs> hmm.
All right, cool. What do you got to say, man? Just smearing feces on a tree trunk? I love how gnarly that stump on his arm is. It also is a tree, I want you to know. Now, I'm not one to deny the uses of it, but I'm not sure if dung would actually make it that much stronger. Tar makes sense. And Udum blood as well. Um, I believe I've brought this up in the past, but the Romans actually used blood in their concrete. Oh, there we go. Just a scroll, I guess. Romans uh, would sacrifice animals when they were mixing concrete. To be like, hey... Bless this shit, huh? Um, but what actually happened is that the iron compounds in the blood, because, you know, hemoglobin contains iron, naturally, uh, ended up making the concrete a little stronger. And that's why Roman buildings still exist to this day, even after their empire has long fallen. Don't fuck with me, man. Okay, cool. Dude, the idea of, like, a caveman crisis is so good. I mean, Far Cry. I mentioned this in the past, but Far, uh, Far Cry and Crisis were the same franchise at one point. That's why Cry is included in there. I've been meaning to do an episode off camera, but every time I've done an episode, it's been on camera. Like every time I've sat down to play this game, I should say. Pardon me. Ooh, big boy. Sorry, need some of that. While we're here, let's take a look at our crafting. We need more rare south stone. Nice. Yeah, we need lots of rare south stone. And badger skins. Oh, that's a good looking club. It's also quicker than the normal club. So I'll probably use this for a little while. Okay, and then he's just up all on here. So as soon as I figure out that, I'm good to go. Big cat. Oh, sorry, dude. Wow, this thing is quick. By comparison to the normal gear, that is some quick stuff. I fucked up and hit the wrong button, so I didn't actually get my train takedown like I wanted to. Sucker. Oh, yeah. That feels good. I love a good bout of violence. Nice. And thanks to all my healing perks. Which 
chicken. Markiplier, who my wife is a very big fan of, recently uploaded a video of uh, Ancestors, the Human Odyssey, or the Humankind Odyssey, maybe. She was so interested, she wanted to play it immediately. So I bought her a copy and downloaded it onto my PC for her. She realized it was too much work to try to... God. Dude, that's a... That's a... <laughs> Are we gonna invent body armor? There's a character in Far Cry 3 who shows up a little bit here and there, and I believe he has a stronger presence. I need the you guys, right? Did I need them? Or am I just committing... Sorry, cousin. <laughs> Character in 3, and I believe he has a stronger presence in 4, called Herc. Who Erky is implied to be the ancestor of. However, that's kind of not exactly how it works, since Erky would be the ancestor of all modern man, on account of being alive at the time that he is. Yeah, run for me. I'm a predator. Big scary animal. Yeah, big slide. But that's fine. You know? Their names sound similar. Maybe it's like a direct descendants descendancy through the male line. You know, something like that. What's the... Here we go. Had to find my owl button. Yo, okay, that's a, that's a bit of a problem there. By a bit of, I mean, you know, in the classical sense, that's what we would call a big fucking problem. On account of it weighing a couple thousand pounds, it's a classical example of a big problem. Ow. I survived, though. Sorry, I had to H my eye there. Lean away from the mic. Oops. It's so tightly packed and close together. That guy's enjoying his drink. Mama A dog, Leo, come. Uh, 
Let's do this old school style. You? Yeah! I love the feeling of shattering the mask he's wearing. Sorry. It's the way the cookie crumbles. That was awesome, by the way. I feel like killing the semi innocents is maybe not in character for uh, for our man's Takar. Whoops. Here we go. They're called Erky Rocks. That's cute. So they're just uh, filtering in here, huh? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that that was destructible. I suppose it only makes sense. It is literally made of hay. Rookie rocks, rookie rocks. Sounded like he said the American. All right. Last big pebble. Come on. Oh, there we go. I love stock pot breaking noise. Though I'm not really sure if it's one of those things where, like, there's even a point to make a new pot break noise. That guy got flipped. That was on. I feel like the iron bowl right there. That guy got honest to God flipped ass over tea kettle. Ah, oh, man. No rare sass stone. Killing me here. How about you? Lots of South Stone. Come on, Erks. Oh yeah, a couple hours ago I was talking about uh, Ancestors of the Human Kind Odyssey. Uh, my wife decided that it would be um, too difficult for her to play, too stressful, because you have to keep everyone alive. I decided that I enjoy discussing things like the Dawn of Humanity, um the birth of civilization Babylon the world of man things like that so I might actually stick with it uh, I decided to not refund it even though she had only played two hours because I think I'm gonna play it I don't know if I'll do a let's play but those things fascinate me um, I love that the game outright says we're doing our best to make this about as scientific as possible but also if this was about as scientific as it was it would take about 10 billion years to play so We've, we've trimmed it a little bit, if that's all right with you. And you know what? It is all right with me. Because, like, I do love historical accuracy in games. But I love suspending realism for the sake of enjoyment much more. One of the things about art is that art doesn't necessarily have to make you feel good. But the thing with games is that normally a game is decided on as something that's fun. That isn't necessarily the case. There are a lot of art games that just aren't fun to play. And I'm... But I'm not sure how I feel about those. I think that all games should be fun to play. I 
a lot of people are of the opinion that a game has to be either fun or interesting, or both. Both is obviously fine. However, I don't know if that's something I agree with. I can't think of any game that was interesting that I enjoyed that wasn't also fun. Ah, we'll get that blue thing later. Okay, now where's the plan going from here? Oh man, am I gonna have to just like test it, smart man? Throw it into my chest. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he's not dead, but they just have him making noises so you think he's not dead. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry, Erky. The plan was good, I promise. See, I, I really want a game that's like completely historically accurate. Like, I was actually told that um, Ancestors of the Humankind Odyssey would be something that I would enjoy by Steam because I played this game, on fact. I would love to see something that's both historically like hyper accurate and like slavishly, exhaustively, just super on point with all of its science. But then also has like crazy like Flintstones technology. Like, I would love to see the world in which both of those things are possible. Right, big mammoths. There's a blue thing over here. Oh. Didn't actually need to come up here. Wait, what do these mean? Damn it. I'm dumb, I forgot the gameplay mechanic. A cheetah! Look, man. Nope. Don't fuck with me. Come on, just fight each other. Yeah, good. Perfect. Holy shit. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. It just fell over here. Come on, man. You can run away. I, I don't care. I don't need you. My cup runneth over with animal meat and hides of all size. Is. Oh, does that thing... I think that means I can craft something, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So I can craft this now. Cool. Cool. And I can also grab... I'll get this. I'm sneaking more. I'm also doing nothing, so let's find a new... Schmingham. Yeah, I'll air it out now. If anyone's watching, I will do some stuff off camera. Um, just because there's a lot of things in this game that are just like... Help more dumbasses fight more animals. 
you know, pretty typical for the for the game and for what's what you've done already. Wow, how do they build these? I'll be honest, I actually do not know how Stonehenge was built. I'm going to assume a complicated system of levers and pulleys, which is often the case. Go, go, go. But I don't really know. Oh, are you a tall elk? Oh, man. Save some for me, guys. Oh, man. Come on. That was... Wait, did that hit him? I think it might hit him. Wait, guys, don't lose the trail. Who did I hit? What do you mean, headshot? How? Where? Oh. Oh, Jesus. We're getting into a turf war now. Which is to say a war over turf, not a war between turfs. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, bear. Okay, now I will leave you alone. You can have the rest of it, I promise. I don't need it. You can have it. I promise. Be cool with me, dude. Uh oh Land it. Land it. Nailed it. Oh, perfect. Let's see if I can't quick travel to something closer. I guess we'll go here. Whew. I really wish I could just put stuff in here. I know that's not the intended use, but... Western and Southern Forests of Oros. I'm also aware that this is technically further away from my destination than I originally was. But I believe this will be better overall. I don't know this map particularly well, though. As is uh, as was the case with Far Cry 3. With 3, though, I had a lot more options, like vehicles. Tape here. Don't know if I needed that for anything, but if I did, you can bet your butt I've got it. Keep getting sidetracked, but I also keep snapping myself back on track, so even trade, I guess. Uh, Misha Collins from Supernatural has a show with his son where they try to cook things. His son uh, is a child, though, a whole baby, and he should be put in jail for his food crimes. I watch it with my wife because she's like a recovering Supernatural fan. And uh, she enjoys it far too much. She loves seeing that stupid baby cook awful, awful food. Yeah, come on, right at me. Give me a come on, give me a big old target. Mm. 
Nice. Did I get a... Cool. Damn it. Oh good, there's bite fish skin. Nothing. God damn, this bow is so cool. Been playing through uh, some of VA11 Hall A, which I might actually upload as an LP. Hopefully I can. But I've been playing some of that with the wife. Um, that game owes a lot to Deus Ex Human Revolution. What? Where's the fire, man? Oh. No worries, dude. Superman Takar, Beastmaster Supremus. Yakko! No, no. Don't you dare. Where's this stupid thing? There you are. Don't diss me, Hawk. Don't diss me. Because I'll make history. This is probably fine, right? Oh boy. What's the word, man? Wolves attack them? You'd think the problem would be the Zila. Well, I'm glad we did that. Such graceful animals. Now, time to chew. And I believe that means it's time for crafting. Shaboodles. Cave bear. God. That's a pretty good place for the episode, I guess. So, um, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also, this has been Far Cry Primal. Um, but yeah, bye.